Hey all, welcome to Smuggler's Fortress, the 14th location of the Patterns of Air Questline. So now we are at the base of the smugglers that took our plate piece. We can't enter directly, so we are going to seek help from a pack, dust pack that we helped earlier. What kind of tile is this? Ah, okay, tower maligned tile. That was a bit costly. So, yeah, let's continue. Nothing much here. Oh, wait. These are mushrooms that can actually be dug. Kind of missed them. Okay, so this time we have to feed the lizard and that is when she moves out of the path. Hmm, serpents are too weak to make a big hole and we need a special nutrition for them. So the reason we are making the hole is to reach the fortress and this dust pack is going to help us. Let me just get the power core first. It's in this house. And I start off with around 2.75 million energy. Let's see where I end up at. Was on both the sides that you have to mandatorily pull. Okay, let's continue. Hopefully, the power core is not too far away and doesn't consume too much energy. Remember the path you are walking. Hmm. So it probably means that we have to memorize the symbols. This part had no symbols and that was a dead end. Okay, so glue, uh, stone, ghost. Okay, of course I cannot memorize all that symbols. But fortunately the place where we have to walk on them is here only. Ok, 
Okay. So let's actually begin. He started off with the clue and then the stone, then the ghost, a paper, and then I'll have to check again. So yeah, that symbol and then bubbles of small stones, whatever. And from that we have this U-shaped symbol and then a thread kind of thing. Okay, this is the last symbol. It is open and there's our power core. Pattern core of where that is. So yeah, that was it. And I ended up at 1.4 million. So this overall was around 1.3 million energy. And now back on track. Objective is to get a special elixir. And for that we need 5 rainbow flowers and 5 carnivorous plants. Let's see where we can get those. the first plant but we can't get it directly but where do I get the equipment to cut that doesn't make much sense walking past those plants without uh, equipment to cut them. I'm just going to continue and see if I can find one. Yeah, I know I need scissors, but where do I find them? anywhere around and I finally found scissors five scissors so that should be good enough Entered the rainbow flower territory, it seems. Touch the lizard with the spikes and it moves away. Okay, so far we've collected one carnivorous plant and one rainbow flower. Second rainbow flower. Third. Fourth. Second carnivorous plant. 
and I'll show you the near this somewhere on the right. I actually have to push it in. Uh, I may not be able to change the lane later, so it's better I just push it in. Stand it to its left and then push it all the way in. And then you can push it down to take the other symbol out. Okay, that's the fifth and the last rainbow flower. And some other carnivorous plants. I did spot them on the way. Um, nothing much here. Three plants, two more are needed. I guess I will have to pull this one out only. That's the only way of accessing those tiles in the center. And now you go in from this side to get the fourth carnivorous plant. Going back, no wait, the fifth is here only. So now I have five carnivorous plants and five rainbow flowers. This should be good enough to make the elixir that we need for making the serpents powerful. And we have to put it into the water tank that these serpents are feeding from, which is up here. Alright, there we are. Some empowered servants will lead us to the smugglers for it. Okay, time to place the fortress. And there's the key. Mm -hmm. To the left maybe i should just try and go further to the left okay here are the serpents and they've already dug up a really big hole We need to get the smugglers down there and then the serpents, the serpents will do the job. We have light sources and mirrors.
Okay, that should be the strategy. Nice. Now that scales are in effect, throws the robot down. thing is supposed to go down on the right but is that possible uh, yeah technically it is Did we already get the keys to this? No, we did not. Okay, these people, they left the cards around here. That is what we used to go in. Two out of seven in breaching the fortress. It seems we are going alone. Now there's an interesting security system to fight. So green is minus. Eight minus five is three. Uh, what is that supposed to mean? Hmm. Yeah. 8 equal to 8 minus 3. We have symbols for the numbers. And there should be something there, not my a symbol. 13 9 is 4. Calculations are actually correct. So what exactly are we supposed to do? Maybe this is the solution. No. Okay, maybe they are just trying to give us a hint or something. I am going to try placing this stone, which means three. And on the other side, I am going to try placing the stone, that means four. that works yes it actually does so these three and four they were kind of hints for us only this is an introduction type Okay, let's begin. Now the harder versions are beginning. 3 minus 1, 11 minus 9, 7 minus 5, 2, 2, 2, that is 6. And 6 means uh, red, blue, no, green is bottom. So this will mean 6. And for this side we have 9 minus 6, 3, 8 minus 5, 3, 10 minus 8, 2. So 3, 3, 2 is 8. We need another 2, which is 6 minus 4. 4 is blue on top. I read it to the left. No, we need yellow down. This one. And 
great so yeah i had fun solving that let's see how hard it can get is getting complex okay so let's begin uh first step we just can't find the symbol in the first place so let's begin from here uh the difference between these two is one four two is seven we need one more which means eight minus seven Um, what does 8 mean? We don't have 8. No, actually, I kind of messed up. Green is the minus one, a uh, minus symbol. So 6 minus 5, 7 minus 3, 5 minus 3, and 7 minus 6 it is. So that will not work. Maybe this one does. No, oh, this one has yellow at the bottom. No, oh, maybe this one. Blue, green, yellow. Yes, this is the correct symbol. That represents 6. And now we have 7 minus 6 is 1. Uh, 3 minus 1 will be 2. So 3 is yellow on top, red bottom. Hello top red bottom yeah this symbol will mean it okay now this one the lower side has to be solved first and the green is the lower symbol so the difference is 2 1 3 2 and 3 is 6 we need a difference of 2 which means this one will be 4 4 blue on top uh, yeah this one matches the one we need and now let's take the differences again 4 minus 2 is 2 then 3 1 1 2, 3, 1, 1, that is 7. And we only have one unused symbol. This has to be the correct one, there's no other choice. They did not keep any extra after ones. So yeah, it's time to continue. water that the plant set so that the serpent can make a hole under it nice we have reached six out of seven still chasing hasn't reached it yet the plate piece yeah we surely have got the plate piece 
this is already done. Almost leveled up. Mm, that doesn't make sense. for that then it does look like so oh wait it was here and I somehow did not notice it at all anyway that is it then thank you for watching do subscribe to the channel like the video and see you in the next location Bye.